episode of Inside Access Control. Very excited today to have Darren Whitaker Barnett, the CEO of Who's on Location, join us. Darren, thanks for taking the time. Well, you. Absolutely. Thank you, and appreciate the opportunity. Of course. So you and I, we've uh, been talking over the past couple of weeks, uh, especially as uh, coming out of, let's say, the coronavirus and and the uh, sort of the attention that the visitor management, which now goes beyond the visitor and it has for your company for a while, we'll talk about that, um, uh, is, is garnering a lot of attention. It's a phase change that I thought was happening before. Now it's just escalated throughout. So I uh, would love to get a little bit of your thoughts on uh, that. But before we jump into that, why don't you give us a little bit of background on yourself and the company uh, and, and tell us your story. Absolutely. Really appreciate the opportunity to share it. So we started in 2012. We're a New Zealand headquartered company in our capital city of Wellington. And um, we have offices in both San Francisco and a presence in London, where I am today. Uh, the genesis of the product uh, actually stemmed from a previous life that I had when I was working for one of the world's largest sustainable energy companies. We were evacuated from the building, and it was a fire drill test. The first responders showed up. And then as a result of the process of clearing the building, they came downstairs and told us that we'd failed uh, the process because we had left the visitor book on reception. And therefore, we couldn't account for those people. We'd also left two staff members on the top floor who knew it was a test but had decided to stay there to finish an urgent report. So the genesis of my idea came from the fact that I wonder how organisations account for and verify the safety of people that are in their duty of care. And typically you would expect, well, that led to visitor management. That was a logical conclusion for me. We should track employees coming on site. Way back in 2000, uh, you know, 2010, 2011, it was largely the domain of visitor sign-in books. Uh, so this was the genesis for Who's On Location. We decided to build a platform that would allow organisations to account for the duty of care, uh, sorry, account for the security and safety of people that are in their duty of care. This required us to, to build a platform that would manage visitors, manage contractors, and manage employees in a single platform. So that's what we've built. We're more than a visitor management system. And, uh, I, I, and we jump forward to today, you know, we're in 43 countries. Uh, we're managing thousands of facilities. We're processing, we've processed over 100 million movements uh, through these facilities since we started. Um, we have engagements with nearly 6,000 receptionists and we've deployed about 3,000 kiosks to our client sites. So it's a, it's a far cry from the day of the sign-in book. Um, and I think uh, one of the things that you asked me to share with you was, you know, what, what is our unique um, value proposition? What is unique about us? I think the uniqueness stems from, you know, the genesis, which was how do organisations account for people that are in their duty of care and their safety? Um, and what we do, we, we sort of look at it as security and safety of people. You know, it starts with knowing who's on site, hence the name who's on location. And so in a single platform, you can manage visitors, contractors and employees. And we can talk about it, you know, uh, later, but, we, but we, we're collecting millions of data points that allow our organisations to leverage that data to manage everything from incident management, notifications, integrating with Internet of Things. Um, it's come a long way, the sign-in book, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, and it's gotten extremely hot late, lately. So um, if you would, with the current climate uh, as we have it, how are you seeing that impact your business now? And um, if you would, as someone that's been doing this for a while, um, share some of your thoughts on what you think long-term uh, this is all going to look like. Current climate is really interesting. Um, many people in the SaaS in the SaaS space uh, would have seen and experienced, you know, a pause on subscriptions, et cetera. In our particular industry, and I'm sure my competitors are the same, we're seeing, we're seeing an explosion of growth and an, and an explosion of interest. The wonderful thing about uh, who's on location is because we made that early call to manage visitors and employees and contractors in a single platform, the presence of those people, we've managed to, uh, to see growth in our working remotely platform. Um, we've managed to leverage the data that we're capturing to to create alerting systems for when people go into a locked in off, a locked out office, you know. So uh, last thing you want is a staff member to sneak into the office, for example, sign into the you know walk in the front door, and uh, they've effectively become a lone worker, which poses a risk to that organisation. So our platform's managing that. So we've had tremendous growth. We had a record April, and we had a record March and a record April, and um, a little bit about us around around how we go to market. About 50% of our Revenue and customer platform has been delivered through channel partners. We have trusted channel partners around the world, and the other 50% is through direct. And our channel partners are, are experiencing the same thing we are. Um, they're building a great pipeline, accelerated growth post-COVID, 
is ex- exactly what we're expecting to happen. Yeah, it's uh, I noticed the trend on that. So uh, questions uh, around the, as you said, uh, it's been mustering a bit uh, that we talked in the access control side, what you talked about, understanding who's there and who's not there on the site that go that goes along with that. Um, what other areas, you mentioned IoT uh, and some others. Can you speak a little bit more also to um, those, I would call them sort of uh, um, parallel type markets that overlap in some places? So how, how do you view that? That's a great question, Lee. So uh, one, of the, one of the areas of visitor man- traditional visitor management is uh, the collection of data. And the collection of data is important for all sorts of technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and particularly Internet of Things. They all require information, particularly when it comes to how you're gonna deploy that uh, and leverage the return on the investment in facilities management. It's gonna require data about who's on site. Uh, What we're seeing is that uh, we're getting a lot of interest in that space. Uh, For example, when an organization um, sets up our our application correctly and and uses our connections through webhooks and APIs, when the last person is in the building um, and, and they go to leave, we can turn off the lights automatically. But that's a little bit passe because that technology has been around for some time now. Where it gets exciting is when you have um, multiple people in a, in a site, both visitors, contractors and employees, and you can leverage the data that you're capturing to send them critical information about incidences on site, about the fire alarm going off, um, not to mention you know, heat sensing, meeting room management. Um, it's, a, it's an exciting future. Your operations are worldwide. Uh, you're in the States, you have Europe, all, all over. So um, what's the best way for people to find out more information about you or to get into contact with uh, somebody from your company? Absolutely. So there are a number of ways. The first thing is whosonlocation.com, easy website to find. You'll find all the information about our product uh, and our service and our certifications for ISO, et cetera. Um, best way to contact us uh, would be through support at whosonlocation.com. Typically, I wouldn't give out the support email address as a key point of contact, but it's manned 24 hours a day. Um, so a great way to get hold of our organisation and any one of our executives um, can receive information through that, a connection through that. If someone wants to contact me directly, uh, very simple, Darren, D-A-R-R-E-N, at whosonlocation.com. More than happy to take any call or any uh, any requests for information. Second that you've been very open uh, and easy to get a hold of, and and, and great to, to have a conversation with. So I appreciate that. Um, uh, lastly, before we uh, head out, I uh, wanted to ask: Is there anything that you and your company are looking for right now? Are you looking to expand your, you know, your integrator base, your customer base? Uh, what, what, anything? What, what, would, what are you looking for? Yeah, what we're looking for now is we're looking because we're, we're captured literally hundreds of millions of data points around the presence of people on site. We're looking to leverage that and deliver more value to our customers. So what we're looking for now is integration partners. We're looking for um, to to really strengthen our integrations with access control systems, uh, health and safety platforms. So if there are any um, access control partners out there or potential partners, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We have a fantastic partner program. Uh, We'd love to talk to you. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate you spending some time with us. Give us a little bit of background on your company, uh, how you see this uh, falling out, if you would, as as the adoption just increases. Uh, Excited to see it, and and thank you for taking the time. Fantastic, and appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.